Welcome to Stability Before Strength, my name is Oscar and I'll be your host. For previous videos, you can check out the channel. Hey there, my name is Oscar, thank you guys for joining me and welcome to our series of Human Muscle Anatomy. Now today we are going to go over basic muscle anatomy of the lower leg and the first muscle I want to start is called the, uh, I want to start with is called the tibialis anterior muscle. Tibialis anterior is part of a group of muscles called the extrinsic muscles of the lower leg. The tibialis anterior is one of 12 muscles that make up the extrinsic muscles of the foot and ankle. Now these 12 muscles are called extrinsic because these muscles originate outside the foot but insert within the foot. In other terms, these muscles, when activated, in one way or another will have movement of the ankle and our foot, whether it's dorsiflexion, plantar flexion, inversion, eversion, or a combination of these movements. These 12 extrinsic muscles are divided into four compartments of the lower leg. We first have the anterior compartment, which consists of four muscles, one being the tibialis anterior, now, in what compartment is the tibialis anterior found? The anterior compartment. Awesome. We also have the lateral compartment, which consists of two muscles. The superficial posterior compartment has three muscles. And the deep posterior compartment also has three muscles. As we already know, the tibialis anterior is one of the four muscles located in the anterior compartment of the lower leg. Now let's find out what the other three muscles are. The other three muscles of the anterior compartment include the extensor digitorium longus, the extensor hallucis longus, and the peroneal tertius. Now again, what are the, the other three muscles of the anterior compartment? Do, 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 do. The extensor digitorium longus, the extensor hallucis longus, and the peroneal tertius. Simple, right? Now, can you guess what they all have in common besides being part of the anterior compartment? Well, let's look at it. Since we know that they are located in the anterior compartment and have movements of the ankle and foot because they are extrinsic muscles, then we can guess that they will also they will dorsiflex the ankle. But we don't know that until we check the action of the tibialis anterior. But before we go any further, I want to give you some sage advice from one of my favorite college professors that helped me understand and remember my anatomy. Now the best learning tool is yourself. Since we all have these muscles, over 600 muscles in our body, the best tool to use is your own body. Use your body to locate and see how and why the muscle have such unique functions. This will give you a better understanding of how muscles work and help you not only remember but understand the fundamental principles of why muscles perform specific movements. So during these videos I will use my body as a model to help you identify where the muscle is located so that you can use your own body to help you remember and understand your origin, insertions, action, nerve, synergies as well as antagonists and also mnemonic devices to help you recall what you learn. Now let's get started. Well, you can find the tibialis anterior in the front part of your shin. Let's find out where it originates. The origin of the tibialis anterior is the lateral condyle of the tibia, proximal two-thirds of the lateral tibia, and interosseal membrane, or simply the body of the tibia. Now, what's the origin again? The body of the tibia and interosseal membrane. Just remember those two. Now the insertion of the tibialis anterior, it inserts into that red spot right there. It's called, that red spot is, I'm pointing at is the medial first cuneiform and the medial plantar side of the first metatarsal. Now, since the tibialis anterior is one of the four muscles, we can use that to help us remember that it inserts into the first metatarsal on the plantar side, as well as the first medial cuneiform bone. Now, where does the TA insert? The medial first cuneiform 
and medial plantar side of the first metatarsal. The action of the tibialis anterior is dorsiflexion and inversion of the foot. It can resist posterior sway, so like when you're in a boat. So just remember the action of the anterior tibialis as ID, inversion and dorsiflexion of the foot. Now, synergists or muscles that help perform the same action of the tibialis anterior include the extensor hallucis longus, which is the first metatarsal, and also the extensor deuterum longus, and guess what? The peroneal tertius, which also inserts it, which also assists in dorsiflexion. So, knowing the action of the tibialis anterior is a step in the right direction. Now, let's find out what the antagonist muscles are, or the muscles that go against the movement of the anterior tibialis. And the antagonists include all plantar flexors, such as the gastrocnemius, soleus, plantaris, tibialis posterior, and specifically the peroneus longus, because it plantar flexes and everts the foot. So that's completely the opposite movement of the tibialis anterior. Now, the nerve that innervates the T a or tibialis anterior is a deep peroneal or fibular nerve. So deep peroneal fibular nerve. Now the artery that brings blood to the tibialis anterior is the anterior tibial artery. Now what's the nerve that innervates the tibialis anterior? The deep peroneal fibular nerve. And what's the artery of the tibialis anterior? The anterior tibial artery. So, now that we know what the tibialis anterior does, what's an exercise that we can do to target that muscle? Well, standing duck walks works on endurance of the tibialis anterior muscle. It's great for runners who want to increase that muscle strength and also prevent shin splints. Now, what is a stretch that we can perform to help us stretch out the tibialis anterior if it gets too tight? Well, let's think about it. Think of all the movements, actions of the tibialis anterior, and now just do the opposite. It should look like this. So the best position to do it is in the sitting down on a chair. Now you're gonna drop your toe into the ground and gently apply pressure until you feel the stretch. And you can hold it for 15, 30 seconds and repeat three to four times a day if it really gets used and exacerbated too much. Now, let's quickly recap what we learned today. Where is the tibialis anterior located? The anterior compartment. What are the other three muscles of the anterior compartment? The extensor hallucis longus, the extensor digitorium longus, and the peroneal tertius. Awesome. Now, where does it originate? Well, we know that it originates in the body of the tibia, and also the interosseal membrane. Now, where does it insert? It inserts into the first cuneiform and medial plantar side of the first metatarsal bone. Now, what are the actions of the muscle? Remember, ID, inversion and dorsiflexion. Now, can you name the other synergist muscles? Remember, STEP, the acronym STEP, which include the tibias anterior, extensor hallucis longus, extensor digitorium longus, and the peroneal tertius. Now can you name the main antagonist muscle? Well the main antagonist muscle is the peroneus longus and also plantar flexors and everters as well. Now what is the nerve that innervates the muscle? The deep peroneal or fibular nerve. What is the artery that provides blood to the muscle? The anterior tibial artery. Now you can always remember that the anterior muscle as the duck walk muscle because that's the exercise that you perform to increase the size and strength of the tibialis anterior so tibialis anterior duck walk muscle okay i think you guys got it thanks for watching and don't forget to join me for the next time as we continue our series on muscle anatomy of the lower leg have a great day